Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Brent Bates, and this is my Over the Fence post. You know, one of the advantages of being a little bit older is you've kind of been around the cart once or twice already. And, you know, what I find interesting is I remember back in the 2008 time period, I had a, a, a condo tower that I was building. I couldn't get a certificate of occupancy because I didn't have that one button with the little Braille buttons on it. There was no button to be found in the entire U.S. We're waiting on China to make the buttons. Uh, next thing I know, I got people, you know, threatening to sue me. I had some little banny rooster lawyer here in town that was going to take me to task. And I even had arbitration in the contract. And I basically just kind of told them I'm going to uh, find it amusing to see how your client not paying her bills is a legal theory for you to break the contract, especially when I'm just waiting on a stupid button. But you know, whenever we hit some of these rough economic times, you know, it's amazing to me the number of people that try to litigate their way to profit. And, and unfortunately, if you uh, have done a whole lot of business, you've been sued, because if you do enough of it, you always get sued. Um, and depending on what kind of business you're in, some of it's more litigious than others. That's kind of why, you know, Trump, you know, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't think anything about being sued or getting sued because he's uh, been involved in a bunch of that. Uh, mainly because of his business. But what a lot of people don't understand is, is that it is a rigged game. And the rigged game is for the house. And the house are the attorneys. Um, and so, you know, what I want to caution a lot of people against doing is, is putting too much faith in, in that system. Now, you know, I've mentioned on the show here, I'm, you know, I'm having legal problems with the city not giving me a permit violate my civil rights and a bunch of other things. And so sometimes, you know, you just has to end up going that way. And, and I certainly understand that. But for a lot of your civil litigation, you know, literally you come in mad. And so the, the lawyer takes advantage of that. There's a doctor that I worked with, oh, 20 years ago, 10, 15 years ago. And um, when I started working with him, he's making about 350000 a year. When we parted ways, he's making between three and $5 million a year uh, based off of the, the ventures that he and I did that I dreamed up and implemented. And and basically he went off his bipolar meds. He, I don't think he even makes 350 a year now, okay? And he's no longer even a practicing doctor. And I, I said something to his attorney one time. I said, hey, I said, you know, do you have like a second home with my name on it? Because this guy spent about $800,000 trying to trying to bankrupt me. And, and he didn't say anything, but his assistant said, no, but he's got a Porsche with your name on it, you know, in the license plate. And, you know, we kind of all laughed because basically he just sat there and, and sucked this guy dry. I've literally been sued by people I've never met. Now, there's one for you. You know, they, they see you out of the blue. Uh, you, you don't know them from Adam's off aunt. You've never met them. But miraculously, you're engaged in security law violations and you did this and you did that. And, and this particular guy's lawyer who I'm, I'm going to see if I can get his law license for it's all over with. Uh, he ought to be writing Harlequin no romance novels. I mean, it was a, it was a 300 page deal. And so, um, you know, and, and interestingly enough, right now we've got somebody else that in this email six months ago, I sent him a check. I said, okay, here's first installment. This deal went bad. We're going to pay you. Even though we lost money, we're going to make you whole. And guess what? They didn't cash the check. Why would you not cash the check? And now six months later, you know, they're getting on, on social media. Oh, I, I can't find the guys. First off, I got served weeks ago. And of course, there again, alleged I did all kinds of things I didn't do. And of course, my attorney has moved to squash it because I don't live in that state, have anything to do with that state. Didn't have anything to do with the deal, basically, other than being a participant in ownership of it. But I wasn't running the deal and had nothing to do with uh, interacting with those other folks. So what I strongly want to suggest is, you know, please, people, wise up. It, it's a rigged game. And all you're going to do is waste a lot of time and money. And frankly, if you can't hire a lawyer that can't find me or can't find Drew, you need to get a better lawyer. As we're in this very room here every day at the exact same time. A third grader could find us. Even a blonde third grader can find us. And also for all of those out there that are kind of, you know, everybody wants to rally to everybody else. And you know, what I love about the young people in crypto is 
is that there's a real community there. And I really like that. You know, and, and some of them have some really strong communities, okay? Only problem is, is you got to kind of wise up sometimes because you're not always getting the whole story. And sometimes that, that momentum of community, that rallying to your friend's uh, side, you know, all of a sudden might find you in the very trap that they found themselves in. Because when you start going down the road of broadcasting inaccurate information, and inaccurate allegations and those kinds of things, you know, there are some people that can take you to task for that. And you would not want to lose your bag of tokens because you were ill-advised and came to the rescue of a friend that was ill-advised because they took the advice of some lawyer who's going to make that money because that's all they do. So, had it in 2008. You know, it's back here in 2020, 2021. And unfortunately, folks, I think it's going to get worse before it gets better. Just a little friendly advice, and uh, you all have a great day. We'll see you back next week on the Wild West Crypto Show over the fence.